Hello, friends! Welcome back to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. Oh, there is a financial report coming down on us nice and heavy. Uh, we do have most of our repairs done. And in the last mission, we picked up enough parts to build ourselves trebuchet. Oh, well, let's ready it up. And let's see how it came out. Does not look good. Uh, no core. We do have the double heat sink kit. No endo. No. Oh. Repairing it will cost us 323000 And we need to throw everything into this bad boy. Unfortunately, no XL. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. We don't have any cores. <laughs> we actually have an XL upgrade, though. So what I want to do right now is we're going to just build it we do oh we've got clan pharaoh and clan endo i don't want to slap that in yet we're definitely on the light side for money here now let's back this out and i don't see us building the brigand at all or even using the brigand so we're going to drop it down get all the bits out of it i'm going to head to the store and sell it so goodbye brigand take a look at anything interesting oh 400 core <laughs> high explosive bombs Paint, UAV, eh, some interesting stuff. Let's take a look at, not nah, the barracks. I'm thinking the barracks, but I mean the hiring hall. Ooh. Okay. Let's take Oddball. There we go. T-Bone, what are you looking at? Legion. XCOM star, not bad. This gives us a half a point of... Um, tech as well oh but we can't do anything about it because we're maxed out anyway disgraced minus one morale plus one ecm shield and probe interesting okay so what we need now is money So let's see, we have the Half Skull Assassination here, another Half Skull. I think I want to go for the recovery here. Gives us a lot of salvage, which we are going to take all of it. Now we get, I want to get that, I want to get all the picks. I want to get all the picks here. And it might help if we get all of our pilots out of fatigue as well. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Sigurd, Brawl, Uba, and a Mech Warrior. Let's prompt Sigurd to deal with it. No less than consequences. Okay. Works. Uh, there we go. And we're not going to worry about Wraith because we are going to be bringing our new pilot to the table here. All right, let's get the barracks. All right, another point of gunnery for payday. Very good. Synapse. Synapse, I want to get Bandit. And we'll go with that. 
Uh, Varangian. We're going to go with Tactician here. And Oddball. We're going to go one Tactics and one Gunnery. We'll boost him up a little bit there. I like that. Bear Claw get, has nothing. A Mech Warrior. Same thing. I just want to get these guys a little bit of something just to kind of get them towards that that minimum. Uba, two points of gunnery here. Need it. Though he's more of our um, he's more of a melee mech pilot. All right. Now everybody's ready, we can hit the command center and go for the recovery. Let's get all the salvage. Wraith can take a seat. Oddball can jump in. And let's get down on the battlefield. And away we go. But definitely something I want to look for is... Uh, some decent vehicles that we can bring to the battlefield that aren't going to be too risky. One of the last things you want to do is risk a pilot on a tin can that's going to attract fire and almost certainly be destroyed quickly. It's a lot of risk with a lot of the vehicles, especially with... Um, wheeled tanks because you can get stuck where you're not going to be able to generate a lot of evasion they're going to attract fire and they don't have the armor or structure to really stand up to it now, I think in the current patch that we're in right now um, heavy tanks and VTOLs are going to be the most superior choices to, to make and focusing down and using more tonnage and dropping less units is actually a better strategy than going lower tonnage and dropping more units oh what do we see we got a wasp a stinger They do not look like lambs. I swear these things remind me of Transformers. Alright, let's reserve that. I want to wait for the Wasp to move. Hello! Light PPC coming in from over there. Reserve it again. All right, there goes the wasp. All right, we are in lamb mode now. Stinger, Anubis. Not a great hit chance here. It is turn one, no sensors, all that neat good stuff. Missed that by a lot. Hopefully. The way I got to keep them tigers busy is to let them shoot holes. Right here. Uh, let's get some lamb mode going on here. All right, see if we can't backstrike this guy. It's all about positioning right now. No dice.
All right, let's get up here. Little cover. Ooh, very nice. On my way. And lamb mode would have helped. All right, no alarms. Oh, it definitely looks like there's a jam chance on the AMS. And if you jam them, you can't switch between fire modes. I'm your spaniel. Hit chances. Absolute garbage here. Roger that. Lamb mode. Alright, here we go. Okay. Let's all say it together. Lamb mode. <laughs> okay. That's intriguing. So you can cohabitate a hex if you're in lamb mode. Lamb mode. Yeah, the rack's jammed. Not so happy about that. All right, let's get in the back of the wasp here. And once again, no sensors. Ooh. What's your role here, buddy? Oh, good God almighty. Yeah. I'm not so concerned about the uh, the jam on the racks. Hey man, I'm about to put you onto something very good, and you are giving me a problem. Also, no. Uh, no. I think that's our best bet here. And we go for a back strike on this guy. I like that. And lamb mode. What's our hit chance here? I think we can do better than that. Yeah, there we go. Back it up and shoot him in the butt. Not so good. There we go. Lamb mode. That's actually very nice. Let's see if we can follow up on the wasp here. Hey, buddy. Okay. That's the unfortunate thing about playing with these guys is we're so um, dependent on our evasion to get things done that it's much more difficult to focus on one particular uh, target at a time because you just you want to keep moving this should be good yeah this should be a kill right here yep goodbye straight cord all right Racks are good. How's our sensor roll? Sensor roll is good. We still have no sensors on that guy, though. Which is pretty much going to be our state of affairs for a while. Terrible hit chance. But it's the best 
chance we have. The stealth is going to be very hard to deal with right now. We do have a 43% chance on the Vulcans, though. That could be our ticket in. One P. It's got to be a light rifle like that he's playing around with. Alright. No bomb. Let's go. Solid. Very solid. You could probably use some armor. No, no, he doesn't need armor. Less armor is better. All right, Anubis. Gonna be happy as long as he keeps missing that light PPC. All right. That's too close. Any way we look at it, that's really not looking so good. 38s, 38s. Pretty bad either way. Uh, I think we should definitely go with the Anubis, since we definitely need more damage in on him. Alright, ooh. That's we we don't want to skip that hit chance. Apparently we don't want to get that hit chance either. The way I got to keep them tigers busy is to let them shoot holes in me. Eh? See? All right, who's eh? next? Seventeen Anubis. Probably going to get a little closer to the wasp than I'd prefer. Eh, not, not so bad. I can take five here. Uh, bad sensor roll? No, it's all right. Just no sensors because of the ECM and range. Got the angle. Take the shot. Waiting for order. We got a couple of hits in there though, which is basically what we need. Not even going to have a chance on the Anubis, so we're not going to bother. We'll go for the Wasp. This is a horrible sensor roll here. Don't even need to check. I can tell already. And you see we've got no sensors, no visual, no nothing, and we did manage to panic the pilot out. Unfortunately, we are looking at range issues here. All right, here we go. It's going to be the hardest thing for us is actually getting that Anubis down because we are going to uh, struggle to counteract his ECM and his stealth. And with only two tubes in the SRM launchers on the Wasps, best chance is we're going to be looking at, holy cow, there was a bad hit in the back. Ready for order. All right, that's our best hit chance right there. Let's go. Everything. Nice crit. Alright, there goes his evasion, which is, that's actually going to help. Yeah, you see we have a much better hit chance now because we've cooked off all of his evasion, evasion by critting his gyro. Good to go. 
And there is the chance to really take the guy down. We have a beautiful hit chance here. And there we go. All right. Very nice. And now all we got to do is take that. And can you calculate faster? Yes, you can. All right, there we go. We are done. Everybody's gone. We get salvage and we get gone. All right. Worked out rather well. We managed to take out a very evasive and stealthy mech. Now, let's see what we have. We do make a little bit of money. Always nice. Let's see, Anubis, Stingers, Wasps, AMS, Light PPC. Uh, double heatsink, definitely got to get that. Um, that's Core 120, I mean, that's a little bit of money. I have a feeling we're going to get most of this stuff. I'm going to drop the 120 and I'm going to take the wasp parts. I'm taking the wasp parts just because it gives us a backup plan. All right, we got AMS, light PPC, the medium laser aggro, which can definitely go. Um, Not going to take the periphery rifle. Those can go. All the jump jets in the world can go. That, that, that. All right. Uh, regular armor can go. All right. There we go. We got, we got stuff. And one of the more important things is we actually got some money. And we can start thinking about getting the repairs started on the trebuchet. Oh, off the top of my head, I'm thinking that we could really get to um, really want to get a, a decent sized core. We're still a little bit under. But we definitely need a decent sized core for uh, for that guy. Everything's ready to go. I don't believe we took any crits. We did not. That's 500,000. Puts us in a little bit of a bind. We're going to do it. We're going to do it because it's going to get us into a good spot for where we want to be for dropping that extra mech which and it will be ready by the time all of our people are out of fatigue hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. all right so let's get into another mission oh i hate that mission All we have here are assassinations. These run a little longer than I, I would prefer. Oh, it's 4 and of 19, that's 5 of 23. All right, so let's go for this one here. Let's take the salvage. And we'll drop the last wasp with, I think we go Uba. And we'll go Bear Claw. He's a little bit better. He's got a little higher tactics here. Now, 
at least he'll have a better chance of getting his sensor rolls down. Not much better, but a little bit better. So we're probably looking at two lances plus the target. It is only half skull, and we're only at a half skull. Don't expect to see too much in the way of support lances. So generally, you're looking at the target, an escort, and an ambush in an assassination mission. Now, the higher up in skull territory you go, the more chances you get for support lances and all that neat good stuff. So he is all the way over there. And if we can get a drop into his back, let's take it. Because it may be worthwhile to just go for getting him. We got six there. There's our contact. Looks like it's like a Whitworth actually. Uh, let's get lamb mode going here. mode since we kind of forgot with the other guys all right there we go oh we got an well, right. hey look you know if those engines are turning over we can sneak right off the edge of town nobody will hear us right all right let's go five and I'd like five and cover actually There we go. So it's triple energy build on the urban mech. Very well could be the wannabe Irby Awesome. Five and a side shot here. Don't really like our chances anywhere here, to be honest. Hey, he's got cover and guarded right now. Let's get a little lamb mode here. Let's get the Vulcans. And say hello, backstab. Now, this is the way I like it. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. I like it. Nice. And. Lamb mode, please. Um, there. Five, cover, backstab. Let's go. Well, there goes his heavy PPC risk. And there goes everything else. Bye! <laughs> well, there's not much salvage on the board right now. And there's our evac zone, and there's a wasp.
What do we have for hit chances? 10, 18 on the Fire Bee, Double Missile, Cattle Master. I guess the Fire Bee, why not? Ooh! Ooh! That was good. That was good. Uh, no, we want that one. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, we saw crit numbers there, so there's a chance. You are not getting anything done. There you go. You can just hang out there. That was nice torso <laughs> shot, actually. Crazy. I mean, like so many positive ways. Maybe we can't lose. You're on. Not much of a hit chance. But, it's a shot we can take. No dice. The only way I got to keep them tigers busy is to let them shoot holes in me. Ooh, nice misses. Like to see that. Dude is rocking thermo bolts. Have a little bite. I see you. Yeah. I don't like this guy with his... We went? Yeah. Goodbye. Alright, let's get back in there. Nice hit chances here. He's got no ammo left. We can actually leave him alone now. We can probably go for this bad boy. Hey, buddy! How's your back feel? <laughs> totally missed that bomb. One of them's in the river, and the other one's on the other side, Alright, let's bring it up here. Hey, now! <laughs> Not doing that one. Alright, come on. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I think we're ignoring the fire bee right now. Except for... Yeah, let's go for the cattle master. Nice head hits. And the fire bee can't do anything right now. You have Infernos. Alright, let's see. What's a good spot? This is a good spot, but not a good spot to drop bombs. This is a good spot to drop bombs. And we got high explosive here, so let's go. There we go. Big boom. Crazy. I mean, like, so many positive ways. Waiting for order. And we can do the same thing here. Goodbye. Oh, let's see. That's a nice spot right there. Hey, buddy. We can get right into the structure on the right spot. 
There goes the torso. To a New Yorker like you, a hero is some type of weird sandwich. Not some nut who takes on three tigers. Okay. Well, um... Now we know why his mama called him Oddball. There goes the leg. There goes the panic. There goes the injuries. Let's see. Fire B. Goodbye. And, oh, you failed miserably. Let's go. Goodbye. And that's a wrap, folks. A lot easier than it sounded. All right. Let's see what we have on the salvage table. Doesn't look like it's going to be a whole lot. I'm actually hoping for good cockpit items out of the urban mech. That right now is really my priority. Um, possibly double heat sinks. We know there was a double heat sink kit. Ooh, BC tracking, clan advanced fire control system. Sensors Tracker Slick Suite. I'll take that. I will take the Sensors Tracker. Yeah. Searchlight. Risk to Urban Mac. Let's see. Fuel cell. Oh, yeah, it's. Mm. Evasion ignore is nice, though. I think we'll take this. I think we'll take the BC tracking, the advanced, and that's really all of the good stuff. Well, we get almost everything anyway. Uh, we got the Wasp, the Urban Mech. Fire bee, the cattle master, the rockets, goodbye, basic cockpit, primitive, basic, jumpies, jumpies, primitive, hold on to the searchlight though, uh, that can go, and very nice, alright, so it was a nice successful missions. Hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget the three S's. Smash it, share it, and sub it. Smash that like button. Share it with your friends. Subscribe for more. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified every single time a video goes live. And we will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.